it may seem cool like they're robots and uh, and so on, but cool doesn't make them safe. The challenge for engineers, uh, uh, for the people behind the technology, is to solve those problems. We have spent a lot of time uh, making this robots incredibly safe. The debate over robots in public spaces is hitting the streets. In a recent brief, the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act Alliance is asking the province to put a stop to both autonomous and remotely controlled machines being deployed in public areas for tasks like clearing snow or delivering food. These are dangerous for several reasons. One is the danger of them colliding with us or us walking into them. Uh, whether you're a blind person or you have uh, balance issues or otherwise, the danger of them falling over or otherwise blocking access. Dr. Frank Nacarado founded the GTA robotics company behind Rosa, the stair climbing robot. He says he recognizes the concern, but also that some public testing of robotic technologies is important. Uh, test the technology very thoroughly and, um, and make it as safe as possible. He says there also needs to be dialogue between developers and the communities their work impacts. People who are developing robots that are going to be interacting with people uh, are very open to uh, solving problems exactly like that. And, uh, and it's doable. At the same time, Magnesio Turtleville is behind Tiny Mile, a Toronto company that operates a fleet of remote delivery bots. We have spent a lot of time uh, making these robots incredibly safe. They're super light. They, they weigh a lot less than, than a human, for example, and, and they move at walking speed. And we're going to keep working and investing and making them safer over time. Meanwhile, Carrie Bowman, who teaches on ethics of emerging technologies at the University of Toronto, says robots on sidewalks is challenging territory and that there's a lot to consider. Do you find that there's one compelling argument coming from either one of those sides? You know, there's merits on both sides. Of the, there's no question that emerging technologies of this nature ultimately and longer term could be a tremendous benefit to people living with uh, with disabilities of various forms. But here's the thing, you know, as these things emerge, the social and ethical context of them has to be really, really carefully thought through. Is there a course of action that looks appealing from where you're sitting in the interim? If we're going to allow them within the streets of Toronto, we need to know that uh, there is it's not introducing a significant safety risk. He also warns Canadian winters already make navigating sidewalks a challenge, especially for those with specific accessibility needs. As winter sets in with ice and snow, what tends to happen is access gets even tougher. There's already too much clutter on them now. For City News, I'm David Zura.